Welcome to the next instalment from the XMS Online Institute. I'm Caroline Johnson and I'll be talking about extraction protocols. So the purpose of extraction is to remove proteins and particulates. These can clog your column and also co-elute with your important metabolites affecting the ionisation. You also want an extraction protocol that can recover both hydrophobic and hydrophilic metabolites and importantly you want to quench your metabolism. So the method of extraction will depend on your sample type. You can use a non-mechanical method for things like plasma and urine, such as freeze thawing, or a mechanical method, such as a bead homogenizer for tissue feces and eye. So I'm going to give you two examples of extractions. Here, firstly, is a cancer cell pellet non-mechanical extraction. To a cell pellet, we add ice cold water, acetonitrile, or methanol to a glass vial. We previously used plastic microcentrifuge tubes but we find that the plastics can leach out of these tubes, affecting the mass spectrum. So firstly, you want to vortex your sample for 30 seconds, then transfer to liquid nitrogen for one minute, and then thaw the sample for about three minutes on the bench. You then want to sonicate the sample for 10 minutes, repeat this twice, and store at minus 20 degrees C overnight or for one hour. You then want to transfer this to the centrifuge tube and um, centrifuge for 15 minutes um, at 13,000 RPM. You then want to transfer the supernatant to a glass vial again and dry down in a speed bag for about three hours. You then want to resuspend the sample in 50% acetonitrile and centrifuge for 15 minutes at 13,000 RPM. The sample is now ready for LCMS. For a tissue extraction, you want to use a mechanical method, such as a bead homogenizer. So to the tissue, we add 80% methanol and homogenization beads. We use either zirconia beads or glass beads. I tend to wash these first in methanol and sonicate them to remove any particulates. So we transfer these to a glass vial and then homogenize in a bead homogenizer like this one for one to two minutes. We then transfer the samples to a sonicator for 10 minutes. We store the samples at minus 20 degrees C overnight or for one hour and then transfer to centrifuge tubes to centrifuge for 15 minutes. We then transfer the supernatant to a glass vial and store at minus 20 degrees C. The pellet from this centrifugation step is then re-extracted in acetone to pellet more protein and also extract more hydrophobic metabolites. We vortex for 30 seconds, sonicate for 10 minutes, and then store the supernatant at minus 20 degrees C overnight or for one hour. We transfer to centrifuge tubes and centrifuge for 15 minutes at 13,000 RPM. We transfer the supernatant and pool it with the previously stored supernatant. We dry down both of these supernatants together in a speed vac. We resuspend the sample in 50% acetonitrile and transfer to an autosampler vial, and the sample is now ready for LCMX. Both of these um, extraction protocols are shown here, and you can see they just differ slightly by their um, first extraction method, either non-mechanical or mechanical. And you can see both of these um, protocols on our website. And please email us directly with any questions. And thank you for your attention.